So thank you so much. Uh, thanks for joining the webinar to learn more about DB Sync and how exactly DB Sync can improve your overall business process by integrating Salesforce.com and Microsoft Dynamics GP. Well, in today's webinar, I will be giving you a quick background about DB Sync, who we are, and what we do, and after that, a quick background of how exactly things work behind the scenes where I will be able to show you uh, or my, you know, Gopi who is our senior engineer will be able to show you the mappings and how exactly we have created the relationship between Salesforce.com and Microsoft Dynamics GP. By the way, this is uh, David Sudhir and uh, I have the DB Sync sales team. Alright, so if you have any questions while I'm going through the webinar, just type it in the chat box and uh, you know, once Gopi uh, starts the demonstration of the product, you know, we should be able to answer your questions. And once again, uh, thank you for joining the webinar now, and I'm going to give you a quick background about DB Sync. So, DB Sync uh, is a pure integration platform where it integrates SaaS application with any kind of on premise application. Combination of application can get integrated over DB Sync. We have been a part of Avantia and we're also Salesforce.com consulting partner. Our head office is in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we also have offices in, uh, in uh, California uh, and we have an offshore center in uh, Bangalore, India. We are, we are in the business from the year 2002. Now, apart from DBC, which came into market through Salesforce.com incubation, so we were one of the first companies to get incubated to build products around Force.com platform. So DB Sync is one of the platforms that we have built, but we also have other multiple applications built on Force.com platform. One of them is the target recruit, and other one is the physician relationship management, which is for the healthcare industry. Right, so we are partners. So we are in the business from the year 2002, and DB Sync started in the year 2009. So DBSync also has multiple apps in the App Exchange, which is DBSync for database integration and DBSync for database replication. And we've also been awarded Kill Award by the Web CPA for the year 2009, and we've also been consistently featuring the Inc. 5000 for the past couple of years. And we have been featured in the Trendsetter Award 2010 from Accounting Today and Top 100 Healthcare Awards 2010 by CRN. We have more than 500 customers uh, as of now. Right, so moving forward to the mission of DB Sync. Our overall mission is to reduce the double data entry and increase the information sharing between two applications, and it is not just limited to QuickBooks. So over the period of time, we have pretty much outgrown and added a lot more adapters, a lot more connection points in our portfolio. So you can see we can pretty much integrate any database. Uh, it could be Oracle, DB2, it could also be MySQL or SQL Server, Intact, and uh, MS Nav. So we can pretty much uh, integrate any application uh, with any application. So, so talking about DB Sync for Great Links integration, now, you know, here before we could actually go, we have a couple of customers that uh, you can see on the screen who have been with us for quite some time, maybe I would say over five years. You know, Amazon is one of our customers, we have Philips, we have PRSoft, so this is a combination of all the products that we have, just to name a few because these have been, these are the customers who have been with us for more than five years. Right, so just moving on to the next slide. Now, DD Sync for Great Lanes. The way we have designed this product is that we predefined template which can be utilized and uh, can be up and running with a particular predefined template. So let me quickly show exactly how the predefined template works for Salesforce.com and quick and GP integration. Now accounts, you can see accounts objects from Salesforce.com is tied up with customers and GP and contact is a free flowing agent between GP and Salesforce.com and also the other way around. Overall integration is on a bi-directional basis. If you create an account, it will create a customer in GP, or if you create a customer in GP, it will create as an account in Salesforce. Also, the second relationship is that we have created uh, this predefined template, which uh, is the opportunity and the opportunity line items 
with the sales order transaction in GP. So you can create a quote or sales order transaction using opportunity or opportunity line item like you can see on the screen. So you can create quote, order, invoice, and so on. In the same way, we have created a relationship for receivable transaction. So opportunity and opportunity line items can be utilized for generating credit memo, services or repairs, warranty, finances, charges, returns, charges, returns, and, and like I was telling you that the overall integration is on a bi-directional basis. So if you're creating a sales order transaction or a receivable transaction manually with, within GP, then you will be able to create an opportunity, an opportunity line item within salesforce.com. So the other attribute that is tied up on the predefined template is products, right, which is tied up with your items in GP. So if you're uploading your products in Salesforce, then you can automatically go into GP or the other way around. So you can actually utilize one of these systems as master database and you can start pulling and pushing in the information from there. So if you're using accounts opportunity and products, it can be up and running within 45 minutes. However, Client will have custom objects and they will have different tables in GP that they want to integrate. So DB Sync is fully capable of doing that. Any custom object or any module of your Great Plains can be integrated accordingly. So in a little while, we're going to just look at the, uh, you know, the demonstration of the product. But before that, uh, this is just not limited to the standard object relationship you can pretty much easily, uh, pretty easily extend the level of DB Sync as for your business process. So apart from the standard flow that you see right here, we also provide functionalities where you can generate scheduled invoices and also the PDF view of invoice as well within the Salesforce.com that you can see here. So whoever is uh, using Salesforce.com can have the PDF view and email the same to your clients as well. Therefore, by doing this, you will be able to end up saving a lot of time at the same time increase overall efficiency in your business process. So that's pretty much uh, it uh, you know, as of now. Uh, so we're going to directly jump into the, you know, the product demonstration. But before that, uh, I would also like to talk to you on the, you know, the value proposition. So like I mentioned, uh, you know, the overall uh, you know, the, the reason of using, you know, DB Sync is to reduce the double data entry and also increase information sharing. So you can also grow with your needs. Now, this is actually built on ETL, which is Extract, Transform, and Load. And we also have a visual mapping and process flow. This is the most customizable integration for Great Plains. And uh, it is also much lesser compared. So one of the databases is a master database in push and pull the in information from there and information can share across the board. So you can see GP within Salesforce.com or Salesforce.com can go into Great Plains. So it's saving you a lot of time and efforts and ultimately it is saving you a lot of money. So as for the pricing goes, you know, we have designed a pricing based on the connection point. And if you want to connect one Great Plains instance with one Salesforce instance, so it's going to be $3,300 per organization. So if you want more information on this, uh, you know, and uh, we, we also charge $130 for the overall implementation. So let me repeat this. So the Great Plains, which is Salesforce.com and GP, adapter both together is $3,300 per year per organization. And we charge $130 for the overall implementation, right? and uh, per hour, more of your time and, and material depending on your business process. So it is built on ETL, so which is extract, transform, and load, like I mentioned, so you can create your own adapters as per your business process. And then we have the in-person support uh, before the sale, after the sale, for the tree, tree trial, and you will be more glad to complete the installation if you have, uh, we will be more glad to complete the installation if you have any issues. So it's not only integration company, but we have in-house accounting, we have expertise consulting, working pretty closely with Salesforce.com. In fact, if you just to make sure that the clients are using two applications are able to make maximum use of any integration uh, application. And also we are Salesforce certified with Apex development. So uh, 
Right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I have a Gopi on the call with me. So he's one of our uh, senior engineer with, uh, uh, you know, DB Sync, who's been with DB Sync for uh, more than three, four years. Right, so if you have any questions right after the demo, you can reach out to me directly. So you can see my email ID right there, which is david.s at avonkia.com, right? Or you can also call my number, that's a sales number that you can see, which is 877-739-2818. But you can reach out to me directly, which is 615-810-8410. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Now I'm going to hand it over to uh, Gopi to show you the product demonstration. Gopi, over to you. Uh, hey everyone, um, welcome back. Uh, this is Gopi here, uh, by the way. I'm working as a business analyst at DB Sync. Uh, sorry about the delay, like we had a few network glitches uh, and we need to switch back. So, I believe David has uh, uh, walked through you guys on the presentation bit. So, I'll be taking care of the, the prior demonstration how the product integrates between Salesforce and the APIs. So, if you're a new user and registering with DB Sync, all you need to do is like just go to uh, mydbsync.com and register now. So when you click on register now, you should be able to get the service and the target. So first you'll be selecting the product, what type of product you want. So in this case, let's say if you are choosing Salesforce as your CRM and target would be So once you click on next, you'll be redirected to the registration part where you need to just provide your basic uh, details and you'll be assigned a uh, user ID with DBC. So once your account is created, all you need to do is just go back to DBC my home page, that is mydbsync.com and then click on my account and customer login. So once you're in the customer login, uh, you need to just enter your username and password. Right? And once you're inside your account, here you would be viewing your home page. So your home page would be having all the demonstration about our products. So as David walked you through different products that we have, so here you can see all the adapters of Take a look at the demonstration of other product here in the below tab. And if you need any help on the documentation side, all you need to do is just click on Get Started or Wikileaks. So Wikileaks would be redirecting to our documentation page, our help section, where you can find all the required, like you'll get all the answers for your questions with regards to the connectors, how the integration would work between uh, any of the connectors and their solutions as well. So once you have logged into your account, you'll be looking at my home tab, which is the page I am on. And company tab is nothing but the company details of okay, uh, whatever the information that you have provided during the creation of your account with DB Sync. Users would be the number of users linked to your account, DB Sync account with our company. So initially we would be providing just one user. This is template tab here would be a library where you can find different process definitions. So what we call as uh, the different templates what we integrate with different applications. So here you can see we have Salesforce QuickBooks, MSCM QuickBooks, we have Service, Service Max QuickBooks and different uh, templates that we integrate with. So <coughs> once you are registered with DBSync or Salesforce and Gateways, by default, you would be you will be added with a standard integration template for Salesforce and Gateways, which integrates accounts with uh, Salesforce accounts with Gateways customers, 
opportunities and opportunity products tied up with SOP transactions or receiver transactions, MGP, and products in Salesforce tied up with items in GP. So I'm going to quickly show you how here you will be redirected to the products. So under projects, you can have multiple products. So here I have a test instance like which integrates Salesforce and GP. So you can see this particular project which has all the process definition provided. So we have GP and SF integration. So let me go into the processes and show you the split of each process what we do. So here under the, uh, the all the workflows you can see we push data from Salesforce into GP and from GP into Salesforce. We, we support a bidirectional sync between those two applications. And you can see switching on and off uh, the workflows is as simple as toggling here. So if at all if you want to push Salesforce account from uh, Salesforce into GP customers, you need to just come here and toggle this switch. I just started this. So at this moment, I'm thinking to send an opportunity from Salesforce to create an SOP invoice in uh, Great Plains. Okay, and we should also receive uh, the invoice details from GP into Salesforce. So I'm going to show that in a bit now. Let me log into my Salesforce instance. All right. So I have an opportunity here, uh, which is having a product of uh, quantity five. And here you can see the trigger point to send and uh, or create a record in GP will be the GP transaction. So here we have a dependent pick list which says either we could create a receiver transaction or a sales order transaction. So for the demonstration purpose, I'll be checking on the sales order transaction. Mark as sales order transaction and the transaction type to be as invoice will be syncing into GP to create an invoice. So we'll be queuing up all the information in Salesforce That is, all the opportunities will be queued up, which are marked as invoice, and then it will be integrated into Great Links. So let's try to push this opportunity into Great Links to create an invoice. To run the integration, I'll have to just go back to DBSync and click on Run Now. So th this will initiate the process of syncing the information from Salesforce into Great things. So this is a manual push that I am doing uh, at this moment, but all the processes or all the workflows which has been uh, added within DBSync, that can be scheduled. So we have a scheduler which which can be initiated or scheduled in the backend, which can be run every 10 minutes or 15 minutes based on the business process. And here you can see on the console, there would be logs generated when the sync, when the sync is happening. For Great Plains integration, we would be installing DBSync locally. So the DBSync version that you will be uh, using would be on-premise version of DBSync. So here you can see uh, we can we are on the console like we will be providing the Salesforce instance at the opportunity, and then it would be integrating into Great Plains. So let me quickly go to Great Plains and open my transaction list. So I think 
it into its sync should be completed. So let me open the invoice. So here you can see the invoice we've got created today. And since this is my test instance, you'll be looking at a lot of uh, other other transactions as well. But so when I open this sales transaction, you can see the product with five quantity and the total price. And it's been associated with United Oil uh, customer from Salesforce. Selected GP transaction as sales or transaction and transaction type as invoice. So once I refresh this page, you can see transaction type as invoice and you can see the GP transaction is being updated. So we update a status back from GP once it, the record is being created. So we'll not be picking up the same record from Salesforce to integrate into GP again. Unless it is required that we need to modify records and create things. So here you can see the transaction type and GP transaction ID which was earlier blank. Now this is the unique ID that we got. So it is nothing but the autodoc number that we are sending into gate planes and getting that as a confirmation once the integration is successful. And down you can see the invoice getting generated. And even if you receive any payments in gate planes, that should be updated here under the payments received. So this was a basic demonstration about how the integration would work from Salesforce into GreatPins. And as I mentioned, uh, we could create any type of SOP transactions. Either it could be an order, code, or an invoice. So let's say if you sync an order from Salesforce into QuickBook into GreatPins, that would create a sales order with a transaction type by selecting here as an order. Let me show you. Yeah, so order. And then let's say if the same order is invoiced in great things, you should receive that invoice under this invoice related list. And this contains, the invoice contains basic information. We bring in the raw XML uh, into invoice details. This, leaving this part, uh, you get the basic information about the invoice, about the the payment, the standard balance amount, and the transaction dates that's flowing from Great Place into Salesforce. So, any, any questions, like you can just post us on the uh, chat window. We would be able to respond to you. And I'm going to switch my screen to David so that he can just talk about the value proposition and conclude this demonstration. All right, folks. Uh, thank you so much for, for joining in. So we're just waiting if, if, if you have any questions on uh, you know the product demonstration that was given. All right. I got a question from one of our attendees uh, saying, like, if there is already existing records in Salesforce and GreatPrints, how do we handle uh, creation of duplicates? Um, for us, like, either in something into Salesforce, the unique ID would be an external ID for us. So let's say if there is the customer name matches between Salesforce and GreatPlanes, we would make use of that and update the unique IDs in both the systems. So there should be some of the other uniqueness between the records in Salesforce and GreatPlanes based on which we will be updating the unique IDs and then reference the existing ones. And another question uh, from the same gentleman that uh, if we can relate the invoices to the account. Definitely at this moment like a standard out of box solution would show the invoices under uh, opportunities. But definitely we could create an extra field uh, as a lookup to account. Okay, um, I'm going to repeat myself uh, for the duplicates. So we would require a unique ID between Salesforce records and Great Plains record. So in Great Plains, the unique uh, ID would be the customer ID. If Salesforce contains the customer ID for each account, 
then we would make use of the same and make sure the duplicates are not created. All right, perfect. So GBID and any unique ID on the Salesforce end should suffice our needs in, in uh, avoiding the duplicates. Right. And also, like I mentioned, you know, the pricing for GP is, can you test GP in Sandbox? Yes. So the pricing for, uh, you know, Salesforce and uh, uh, GP integration is uh, $3,300, which is per organization. And also, uh, you know, for customization, we charge $130 per hour. So it, again, depends on, you know, your requirement. You could also send me an email directly uh, to david.savantia.com. Or you can just call me at 615-810-8410 if you want a trial installation to be done or if you want to see another demo of our product. So if you want a trial installation, just send me an email. I can have my support engineer reach out to you to install DBSync on your instance. So we have a 12 days trial period. So you can play around with it and let us know. If you have any questions, and then we can take it all from there. All right. Uh, so I think it looks like uh, we do not have any more questions. Uh, but however, if you have, so you can just reach out to me, or you can uh, reach out to Gopi directly. Right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, one and all, for joining this webinar. And I'm sure that uh, you know you have you certainly would have learned a lot from this. Right. Thank you so much, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Thanks for now. Bye.